Hello, Cancer. Welcome to Karma on Deck. I'm Karma. I'll do your reading for the week of October 17th through the 23rd. We're going to do a little love and money and the divination. And so let's begin with your reading, guys, and see what is up for Cancer. Mercury retrograde started with the shadow on the 11th, and if there's if this little bit of the last six days is any indication, this is a whammy of one. It's been hitting pretty hard for me so far. <clears throat> Wacky. Cancer. How you doing? Take a look at for cancer. All right, here we go. Ooh. First thing that comes up for you guys is the chariot. Chariot is all about movement, moving, um, changes, taking control of direction of things too. You might have some travel coming up. It does indicate travel, but the six of cups means celebration and travel. I do see the eight of coins that showed up for Gemini as well. Eight of coins means labor, physical labor. Um, being busy, having to, you know, things requiring a lot of your energy. I'm also seeing the Page of Cups and the Ten of Cups, so that's new relationship energy or a renewal within the one you're already in. I am seeing Ten of Cups, which is balance. We like that card because it shows a little give and take, equal measure. And if you're going through a honeymoon phase with someone you're already with, or if you're renewing a relationship, it's going to be very well balanced for you, Cam. And this may also be because this is just a general reading, um, as with above, so below, as within, so without you coming into like discovery of yourself, you start to, you know, projection is perception. So if you're pushing that outward in the fact that you're like getting more grounded, getting more centered, it creates balance in your relationships as well. So here we go. So for those of you on the psychic path and that are playing with your gifts, are you feeling more intuition? Because we do have the high priestess. So if you're noticing synchronicities, if you're noticing timelines, changes, um, if you're noticing some things a little more, clearly the high priestess is showing up for you. Six of swords referencing things getting easier for you. Sorry, I got the hiccups. I also see the fool card that showed up for Gemini too, I think. And that is all about opportunity. I always call that one... Um, my Wizard of Oz card. Are you going to go on the journey with Dorothy or are you going to stay in your cornfield and keep things just simple? It's not about the decision you make. It's about the moment of getting to and opportunity, right? And having this fun adventure to go on or not because it could be good for you to do either one. I also see here the Four of Wands, which is building foundation. So you might be playing with a little energy having to do with establishing foundations. Now, for me, that's been frustratingly going on since June, July. Foundation, 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 foundation. I want some fruit, right? Foundations are valuable. Um, this also might be, you know, the Four of Wands might be a home, buying a home, doing a remodel, something within your house. The magician, though, is showing up. So dress rehearsal is over. The magician references you taking the skills that you already have and trusting yourself. Moving forward, this is saying, like, you don't need anybody else's input. You don't need anyone else's help. You know exactly the design that's in front of you and what it is you need to play things out appropriately. I do see the Knight of Swords. So if you're making impulsive decision-making, watch yourself on that one, Knight of Coins referencing money, um, decision-making. Now, the interesting thing that I see here is the Four of Swords, which is tension and pressure. So you might be under some deadlines coming up this next week. I do see the King of Cups. King of Cups and the Magician together, that's saying that, now I know this practice is really hard, or it takes experience, I should say, but the King of Cups is about emotional mastery. So when you have like emotions, you can say, hey, that upsets me, instead of like throwing things or being angry, about mastering your emotions, mastering your feelings, being the director of the outcome, um, having a little bit of mastery. This magician also can reference you being on a stage. So if you're about to perform or do something for where you have an audience or you're teaching or doing something in front of a class, something that you know how to do well, um, it's showing you get to show that off. Okay. Knight of Wands referencing. Okay. 
So overall, these are really great cards. Um, I don't see trouble, drama, heartache. I do see things getting easier, so the tension is going to release. Even if you feel like you've got some deadlines coming up, the um, six of swords is all about like the storm breaking, things getting easier, things moving out of your way. You'll even if like you're starting a new job and you finally got the training down and things get to get in a rhythm. It's just about things becoming a little easier, using muscle memory, being a little more. Pull some cards for you from um, the Dreamer and take a look at your relationship. My phone is zoom, 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 zoom. That is me. Okay. We are loving relationships. All right, here we go. Woo, celebration. I like it. Three of Cups, that's an anniversary, wedding, celebration, reunion. So the Three of Cups is fun. It's all about chemistry, partying, having fun, whatever. I have the Ace of Wands, so that's indecision. I'm also seeing the Four of Swords. Now, pay attention to the dates that are coming up with Mercury Retrograde because we do have the Four of Swords. So this could be one of two things. We have the Lover's card right next to it. So if there's somebody in your life that cycles back around often or you have an on again, off again, or if there is a dynamic play between the two of you, this is a power struggle. If this individual that's in your love life tends to go quiet, expect it. I see you being defensive. And you might even be the one that's going quiet. This is my ghosting card. She's Snow White. Snow White goes in the forest, she goes to sleep, and she doesn't talk to anybody until she decides. So the time is right and she's ready. So don't force the issue. If someone's going quiet on you, then maybe just going deep within, trying to come up with that king of cups, king of hearts, trying to see, like, can I master my emotions? I know for myself love of my life, has so much chemistry. Um, when there was problems, I would shut up and clam up because I had to process my emotions before I could articulate them, especially with how my body would react. So if that's you, give yourself some time and patience and if someone else, you know, just sit with it for a minute, create some space, allow it to flow, see what comes of it. I see that right now accusations have been flying or, you know, assumptions. And the Seven of Wands is you having your weapons out and feeling a little defensive. There's the Magician card again. So every reading so far, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, with the first deck, Dragon Tarot, one of the cards has flowed right on into the next one. You guys are having the Magician. So if you feel like you are really good at taking leadership in the relationship, do so. Okay, but you're also getting the Seven of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles is Harvest, and it means wait. So don't force things. You got to wait for things to be ripe and ripen. Like I was saying, I also see commitment for you building a legacy. So you're doing some groundwork. I would also love is definitely present for you. Cancer. I'm also seeing knight of swords where this other individual might be you're defensive and they're attacking. So it might not necessarily be vicious attacking, but it may feel like it to you because the knight of swords is like, like coming at you, coming for you. Kind of. um, and there's the fight five of wands. So expect a little arguments, expect things to be a little out of pocket. Um, and a little uncomfortable energy, but just know the two of cups is love, okay? Love is present. We all have bad habits. We all have bad behaviors. A little grace. So um, you're definitely in alignment, and I see you going back and forth with how you're handling your relationships because the seven of swords is showing us that you maybe aren't being that one that is able to articulate. Um, it means taking something that doesn't belong to you or being sneaky, and it may be that this individual that you're dealing with may be being sneaky, but um, they, especially if they're not talking to you. So you have the um, Four of Swords, and that's, I call that my ghosting card. So if they're going quiet, you may be assuming that they're up to something sneaky. But like I said before, this might just be them, you know, not being able to articulate or keeping things private. I know personally, while I'm processing something, I don't want to talk about it. Um, there are some times where I want to process with someone else and get their opinion on it, just so I know I'm coming at it appropriately. Um, so that I'm able to garner whether my contribution to the conversation is coming from a loving place. But don't go too much into that um, because I do see behind all of this the lovers, the four of wands, which is commitment, two of cups um, isn't present. We do have the lovers card instead. So this dynamic is a little bit hot. If there's a lot of chemistry and combustion and energy. Okay. But you're in alignment with where you're supposed to be. You do have the star card. Okay. You keep looking for signs and and um, synchronicities here. So there you have your love reading. What's going on with that? If you want a one-on-one, -on -one, you can find me on my psychic one, or you can go to karmaondeck.com and book a one-on-one. -on -one like to subscribe and share. That helps the sister out. I'm going to pull a card for you from Divination of the Ancients. Up. 
Yeah. Here we go for cancer. Bing. This is for phrenology and it references uh, certainty. So phrenology. If your days are filled with aimless activity and your head is filled with pointless internal chatter and inconsistent plans, Stop a while and turn down the volume. When you give in to rest and silence, you're more likely to hear the information your guides are trying to give you. As you try to ascertain what you should or should not do, use your own head rather than accepting the first piece of advice you're given. Think logically as it's time to rely on good old fashioned common sense. Stability in your life is required, so make concrete plans. Seek expert advice and research carefully what you need to know to be certain about your next move. If you do so, the outcome will be successful without a doubt. The incantation for the week for you, Cancer, is the chatter in my mind's a din. So I'll meditate, journey in, surrender to silence, and listen well to guides who wait with truth to tell. So watch for synchronicities. We were talking about your instincts firing and your intuition picking up. So trust yourself a little bit, Cancer. Love and light to you. I'll catch you on the live. Meanwhile, I'll see you next week. And with that, it'll be a good one, guys.